Hello everyone, Praise Scooter here, and welcome back to more Metroid Prime. Ooh, that's a chair. Or a sifter. You know what? We'll say it's a chair just so I feel better. Last time we met a fa we finally met the what's been talked about for Aeons, uh Phazon infused elite pirate. And it kind of exploded with two super missiles and it's it was actually kind of a big baby. Anyway. Today we shall progress forward through the science facility of the space pirates, and my hope is that that I'll actually go through the hole. My hope is that somewhere within these walls, oh, there it is. Haha, <laughs> there's the way forward. My hope is that somewhere within these walls there will be a beam of some kind, one beam or another. Hello. But what if I blow it up? That did nothing. So, we are opening a ventilation shaft, also half pipes. Oh! Ah, I see. Sticky poo poo bomb. Uh. Well, Bendesium, I can't do anything about that, so uh, we need to leave. Oh. Well, I guess I just got funneled into this room. I can't do anything. I I can't do anything else but go forward at this point. So, I basically have been locked in here. Uh, the, the Hunter Metroids have, has siphon tentacles that can... Oh! Okay. So we're basically being taught about all the, being taught about basically all forms of Metroids that are not, oh, being taught about all the creatures in this area that are of more power than what we're used to. Stop shooting me. I don't take well to damage, you know. Can I have that? Thanks. There's somewhat. Oh, there are power units. Yeah, though, oddly enough, even though it's the first beam we get in the game, the power units, probably the most deadly of the space pirates. Oh. Hello? Well, I like how they put the Chozo ruins off limits. That's not what I'm scanning, now, is it? Bendesium, 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 Bendesium. Can you give me the thing that breaks Bendesium, please? This is getting annoying. Okay. Can I, I can scan this. Okay. 74% in testing. Um, good job. You managed to fight a ghost. You managed to fight a ghost of the real deal. I'll actually fight the real deal. I open this up. Oh, it's re it's reading. Dang it! I was hoping it was actually gonna like open that vat because that's an elite, that's a phase on pirate in there. Elite pirate, oopsalon, oopsalons, yeah. Propensity for phase on has enabled our research team to infuse it by far beyond our safety recognition registrations r restrictions. I had to close my eyes to realize it was that third word, and the results have been extremely encouraging. It is uh, its constant phase on diet has increased its mass exponentially but it has retained all mental fa uh, faculties and shows its dexterity with all elite weaponry, including plasma incendiary launchers and the chameleon manta issued for cloaking purposes. Elite Pirate Upsalon exhibits miraculous healing abilities. When injured, it seeks out phazon deposits and coats itself in the substance, which instantly mends the creature's wounds. The subject, which we are codenaming Omega Pirate based on these developments, shows potential to be a new standard for our armies. Our only concern at this point is its potential over-dependence on Phazon. Well, that tells me what all I need to know. Alright. Uh. Power surge detected? Literally the next room over. You had to stop me to tell me that? Thanks. Well, I'm going to be knee-deep in combat here. 
Poke your head out. It'll be funny. This is gonna be a bad idea to go down here. Unfortunately, I have to do it like this. Actually, wait. Can I just... I like how I duck behind cover and then I proceed to shoot. I should keep on this whole uh, rapid fire thing I go on. You know what? Rapid fire. It pro it's probably going to get my, me my butt handed to me more than anything else, but that's the way I'm finding the easiest to fight. Uh, cool. More elite pirates. Uh, yeah, that one's going to break out probably pretty soon here. I'm going to assume that that one there will break out pretty soon. There's three of them in here. I'm not sure if I feel okay about this. Anyway, a little more uh, on the side reading. Do not feed the Metroids. Actually, but actually, that's kind of a weird little funny offshoot story. All right, War Cry, ha ha hoorah, rather. Um, it's actually kind of a funny thing is before I got super into the Metroid uh, franchise, I actually like downloaded a bunch of like desktops for the computer I'm currently work on. And it actually is still, it's effectively the same hard drive. It's just the hard drive moved to the same boot drive moved to a different boot drive over time. But using the same desktop backgrounds, my, uh, what is it? I had a wallpaper that's still probably one of my oldest wallpapers is just a it's a mock-up of like a metal road sign that just has the Metroid on it that says do not feed. That's all it says. So like, apparently before I even before I even got into Metroid name capacity, I was in, I was I knew do not feed the Metroid. This corridor is way beam shaped. A corridor can have to be way beam shaped. Okay. So, power regularity in this room. Can I scan some? I see that. Multiple safety system malfunction detected. You should be taken offline immediately. I can... I saw that. There we go. I was supposed to say... I know I saw that. <gasps> Power bumps. All right. Now watch the strike. Where is it? Right there. Yeah, I know you're there. Let me see you. Can I not? Okay, fine. I don't have to see. Oh. Okay, well, that's not going to help. Well, I know you're there. Okay, fine. We'll play your game. I didn't want to do it like that. I'm trying to figure out, like, what's the best way to handle this fight, and I don't know if I'm even doing it right. Because I don't want to, like, gamble on a big shot no think knowing it will, like, not work. Oh, never mind. That worked. Well, they didn't make it hard, at least. Oh, my favorite. I wish it, I wanted to scan that, by the way. Vendesium? Vendesium is power bombs. Okay, noted. Thank you for taunting me with Vendesium for five hours. Keeping your pets has been suspended until further notice. Domestic beasts have been deemed highly susceptible to phase on madness and are thereby a hazard to personnel. All grog cats and old baps. <laughs> I skimmed through the last set. Basically, basically, get rid of your dog or we're going to force you to get rid of your dog by making it so you can't eat. Alright, well. Which one opened? I know one of these opened, but which one opened? There it is. 
All right, let's have fun. You know, you think I, ow, you think I would actually, ow, you think I would actually be more keen to doing this because I, I love marble rolling kind of games, but this is just, this sucks. Uh, hello? Oh, takes it offline. Haha, <laughs> I have bomb. Okay, it's offline. No, I want to go back in. I should have stayed in there. I should have... Well, actually, no. I couldn't have gone any place else. That, I was literally locked into this. Anyway, power bombs. So, oh, now it's power bombs to collect two. And now I get to look up how much... How many power bombs are in the game? Great! Well, before I go any further, is there... Is there a save room somewhere nearby? I see that. Oh. You don't know how happy I am to see you. After the one death I had. And the amount of... Dumb I've... No, my own dumb I've had to deal with. But yeah, now we have power bombs. I wonder what it takes to recharge power bombs. You know, pretty curious. I'm actually kind of curious about that. Anyway. Power bomb. And. You know, I could go through the door, but what is all this? It doesn't hurt, whatever it is. Oh, I thought that was a. Hello? Is that, did I miss a computer I could have read? I believe I did, but so we're going to backtrack to go read a computer. But yeah, now we actually have... Oh, we have power bombs proper. Please read the computer. Alright, nothing else that can really be exploded at this point, so... Why are these platforms like this, by the way? Just curious. Just kind of curious why the platforms are situated like that. It doesn't bode well. Okay. Anyway, open the door finally. You're not new, are you? Nope. Something in there was new. Hold on. Oh, something flatlined in there. Please blow up already. I mean, I'll I'll play the lame game. I'll play the lame game and just kind of edge out one shot and then go from there. I don't like that there is such a that there's such like a cooldown timer on missiles, because in like every other game that has missiles. Yeah, every other Metro game that has missiles, like, you can just fire them off, blam, 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 blam. But in this game, it's like, nope, gotta wait a minute. Excuse me, I said blow up. Now, there is this... Okay, I thought it was a return shoot for me. It's like, wait, why is this only a return only shoot? Oh. I could have gone underneath. Is there a further underneath? No, there's not. But yeah, I could have gone underneath. Good job, me. You did it the hard way. Auditor disabled. Gee, I wonder. How did I disable how did the auditor get disabled? Is it Is it is it bounty hunter Samus Aaron firing missiles off wildly? Those do be Metroids. But well, before I do anything... Uh... Well, what if I have a funny moment? Let's have a funny moment! Hey, look! The Metroids! Now, I'm just gonna... You should... You should not be worrying about me. You should worry about the Metroids about to eat, eat your friend. 
Anyway, now they have the ice beam. It's not really... They actually... Oh, that's bunkus. The Metroids actually follow a path. That sucks. I was kind of hoping they would kind of go off the rails, do their own thing. Because, like, Metroid can fly. You know, Metroid can crawl, so Metroid can fly. Don't to listen. Don't ask these questions. These are just memes of the internet that have permeated throughout the world. Volunteers for hunting parties. We're now accepting volunteers to hunt the hunter. I don't think you thought this one through, have you? Uh, produced a cheap, viable ration for many of our phase on enhanced units. Oh, the phase on rationing. Good. Well, I'm not too worried about the Metroids because we do have the Ice Beam, which is basically the number one weakness of a Metroid, which means I'm not, I'm going to keep that thing on me for a while, but yeah, we do have the number one weakness of a Metroid. Oh, do not antagonize the Metroids. Yeah, that's actually probably the smartest thing I've, I've seen you guys say in, in a message in a long time that wasn't required, or I say required. Oh, is that a power bomb? Heck yes, yeah, son, that's a power bomb. Well, it's not gonna track it. Uh scan the mushroom life. Oh. Big mushroom. Hey. Hey! Dummy! <whistles> Dummy, over here. Good talk. Spectral increase? Oh. So, in Talent Overworld, there's now more things. Uh, can I progress further here? I mean, I could just take the hurt. Okay, we're going to dip our toes and see how bad it is. Ha okay, that isn't that bad. Just as long as it's only touch and go. I can't jump up there. Okay, it's not that bad of damage. Hi. Thanks for... Thanks for being here. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. There's got to be a way across that. There is a way across that gap. I just can't do it right now. Son of a... Again, the thing I've been saying about 500 times now is... In my... In, in a long time ago, I watched a playthrough. X-ray... There's, there's another scope here. And they've talked about the, the visor in question. Uh, the x-ray visor. They've talked about it now. So I can talk about it. There's an x-ray visor that makes platforms that are normally visible, visible. There are invisible platforms here, but you can't even jump on them without the x-ray visor. So there is a way across here, but I need the x-ray visor. So now I have to go back. I have to go forward and back and forward and back. Two steps forward to go one step back. Thank you to all one of you that understood that reference. I barely even understand it, just because I have friends who partake of that. Anyway. So it looks like, unless I am reading this wrong, I have to go all the way back to the Talon Overworld. However the heck we get there. I imagine it's not going to be that bad of a trek to get back there. Hi! Okay, well... Well, I mean, this is... This is, I guess, the fight I have to take in. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't even all that bad to do. Why Why was that toted as such a terrible thing? Alright, well, now that I have power bombs, at least, I'm going to take a quick second and save here. But I think for now, we'll end the episode here. Uh, I would say I'll meet you back in that area of the Talon Overworld. But, because we have power bombs and there were so many Bendizium things, 
we may not be we may not be cutting much because we get to blow stuff up now. Anyway, everyone, I do want to thank you all so much for watching this episode of Metroid Prime. And come back next time when we'll start the trek back to the Talon Overworld and blow up some stuff along the way. I'll see you folks then. Take care.